What's up guys, it's Matchbox Madness. Today we are reviewing a special set from the Matchbox team, the Matchbox Jurassic World set. This set features five cars from the Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. Of course, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom comes out this weekend, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and upload this vi the, uh, video in honor of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the five models we have. We have a couple that are licensed and a couple of unlicensed models. First up, we've got this submarine looking thing. It's called the Deep Dive Submarine. I believe this appears at the very beginning of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, I've seen the trailers and from what I know, there this vehicle appears at the very beginning from what I've heard. So let's go ahead and take a look at this model. Here it is. Um, unfortunately, no wheels to make it roll. It's just kind of this submarine thing. It actually looks pretty cool. It's got some unique parts. We've got a saw right here and a claw type thing. Um, we've got a nice blue window and some yellow paint. Uh, not a model I'd be particularly excited about. Um, I'm not a big Jurassic Park fan, so I don't really care about the cars that much. Um, this is one that I'm not personally a big fan of. And uh, truthfully... Uh, I probably could go without, but since it's part of a movie set and I'm a big movie fan as well, um, I'm going to add it to my movie car collection. But um, yeah, probably the worst model in the set from what I've seen so far. That's the Deep Dive Submarine. Um, it appears in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Our second car is the Armored Action Truck. If I had to guess, this vehicle would be... I'm not sure if all these are licensed vehicles from the movie. Some of these might be kind of... Generic models uh, that have had Jurassic World Deco added to them. This one is probably one of those models. Um, it is a nice 6x6 car. Um, very big, very bulky. If it does appear at any point in the Jurassic World movies, I guess it was probably during Jurassic World when they're uh, using the raptors to hunt the big old T-Rex thing. Um, so here, here it is. Uh, metal, bo uh, metal body, actually, that's very nice. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, and then a plastic base, so very cool. Nice 6x6 model. Um, it's good to see the 6x6 models. Um, Hot Wheels and Matchbox don't do them anymore because they're not very cost-effective. Um, so it's cool to see one every now and then. Of course, some sacrifices have to be made. In this case, since we get six wheels, there is no interior. There is just simply three parts instead of four. We have a base that extends up to this back part here. We have the metal body. And then we have the chassis. So three parts instead of four. So a um, little unfortunate, but I like the 6x6 casting. Um, again, a generic. Not personally a big fan of the uh, this one. But um, it's all right. We'll go nicely into my movie car collection. Up next, we have the 2010 Textron Tiger, which I know nothing about except that it actually is a licensed model. Which is very cool. I am happy to see a licensed model in this set. Um, that's super awesome. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. Here it is. Rocking the gray scheme. Not a lot of deco going on in this one. Um, it's more of an armored truck type deal. Uh, always happy to add a variety of models. Uh, especially when it comes to Matchbox in terms of licensed ones. Um, and this one fits the description. So very cool. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but that window piece is see-through it's like a dark green so very nice to see that and it's the, um, the fact that it has an interior is good to know um it's all right probably the best of the bunch we've opened so far um kind of just a generic armored truck type deal no headlights or tail lights which is a bit unfortunate um but these next two are uh the two that i am very excited about um and ultimately the reason i ended up buying the set all right next up we have maybe one of the coolest models i've ever seen produced and I feel like probably one of the harder ones to ever make. It is the Gyrosphere. Now, these were definitely in Jurassic World. And I believe from the trailers, I've seen that they're in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as well. But if you remember the scene where the two kids kind of go wandering off um, when the park closes, they're in one of these. Um, the Gyrosphere. Here it is. That is actually just really, really, really cool. Um, I, I'm... I think this is awesome. This is one of the cooler models I've seen. Um, it's technically a licensed model since it's appeared in a movie. And you can kind of roll it. But it rolls like a gyrosphere would. That's the neatest part. So you can see in there they have the little hanging seat. And as you rotate it, that seat's always facing forward. Like the actual gyrosphere in the movie. 
That's one of the things that I think is the best about this model. The seat's not locked into place like the interior, so if you rolled it, it would be upside down. No, the seat, if you notice, always stays upright, which is really awesome. That can't have been easy to do. I'm really happy with this model. I think this model might be the best in the set, so super happy to get that. Um, and it rolls like a gyrosphere would too, which is um, also really nice. So very well done from Matchbox on that model. And finally, the final in the five-car set, the 2014 Mercedes-Benz G550. I cannot tell you how happy I am Mattel has the Mercedes-Benz li license back. We've already seen some awesome models from Hot Wheels, um, like the G63 race car or in the AMG. Matchbox has released the 6x6 and the uh, SLR McLaren. And here is another model that I am super happy to see. I believe it's a new model. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it is a new model. This is its first release. Um, the Mercedes-Benz G550 looks absolutely incredible and is probably the best car in the set. Matchbox absolutely nailed this one, and it's nice that it's a movie car too. And it looks like it gets the full tampo treatment. If we go in on the back here, you can see on that wheel rail, no taillights, but the Mercedes-Benz logo is on that spare wheel. On the side, we get the Jurassic World Deco. It says... For official use only. So nice decal right under the T-Rex. You can see it says for official use only. Got the number five, probably signifying like what part of the set or what part of the fleet it is. We got the Mercedes-Benz logo on the front with a nice grill, some matte black wheels, nice silver deco with a blue tint, perfectly capturing the park's silver and blue colors. So I'm really happy with this model. Um, I'm so happy to have the Mercedes-Benz license back. I really like this model in particular. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of these movies, but anytime you can get like a licensed movie car that's realistic, um, I'm all for it. So all in all, I think it's a fairly decent set. Um, there's one dud in the set. I think it is this submarine, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. The armored trucks are okay, but the gyrosphere and in particular the Mercedes-Benz are the best car in the set. They look really good. They're really well done by Matchbox. On a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of this set, I'd probably give it a 6. Um, these two cars over here, the Mercedes-Benz, probably a 9 out of 10. The Gyrosphere is probably uh, 7.5 out of 10. This guy is probably 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, and then a 2 out of 10. So I think it averages out probably, what I say, a 6 out of 10. If you're a big Jurassic World fan, definitely pick up the set. There are some cool cars. If you're just a fan of unique cars in general, definitely pick up the Mercedes-Benz and the Gyrosphere. I don't think you need the entire set. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up for the review. And plus, like I said many times over the course of this video, I like movie cars. So that's all for now. Please like, comment, subscribe to Matchbox Madness, and I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.